what was it like working on the IDTEC engine? Because that's considered one of the best engines, period. Yeah, so I've worked on a lot of engines like Unreal, Unity, IDTEC. Um, so I have a friend at ID, um, his name's Seth, and um, he's a programmer there. And he's worked in Unreal and other engines as well. And he describes it as IDTEC is like a race car. Like, it, um, so like if you get in like a family caravan, there's like the TV and like all the luxury stuff, you know? Uh, it tech is like it's like a this really super fast race car like it's designed for one thing there's no like fluff there's no tvs uh like from a programmer's point of view like it's amazing tech and um it does like runs amazingly well um from an artist's point of view like uh like so as an animator you work with um you import animations and there's this animation trees and that sort of thing um so it, it's really fully functional but like there's not a lot of bells and whistles that um, you get in like Unity or Unreal uh, that's more artist friendly, you know. But uh, it just took a little bit to get used to it. But like, yeah, so it was, a, it was um, I actually downloaded. They recently released it a few months ago. Uh, it tech for Doom Eternal. Yes. And I downloaded it and um, I installed it. I actually gave a talk at a game dev conference. Um, I think the talk was called uh, Doom Eternal or. Glory Kills is like Disney, classical Disney animation. So I pulled up Ed Tech and I was going through all the old animations and it was fun and <laughs> nostalgic just to look at all the old stuff. Um, yeah. Well, because it seems like it would be amazing for programmers because it's a very well- Oh yeah, it's amazing, engine. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can see why other people, well, I suppose programmers and um, other people in the industry look at it and be like, man, I mean, because they, they optimized it very well and then it worked on Switch, you know, like 2016 and Eternal. And I'm like, how the heck did you get that working? It's oh, like yeah. Ancient tech. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really good engine for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I was talking to one of my friends that's still there and um, I was telling about how I downloaded the, the Doom Eternal version of it tech and, uh, he was like, yeah, it's the animation tools have changed a lot in the last few years and it, it, it gets a lot more artist friendly now, apparently. Well, I suppose they're constantly upgrading the engine after, oh, yeah, for sure. after every project. So I suppose with yeah. Doom the Dark Ages, they would have been doing that primarily before they went into full production. Yeah, they're constantly updating even during production. 